What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of LS PDFR. Today we are going to be patrolling in the Strawberry area. We are patrolling in this Arizona State Trooper Ford Explorer. It does have a ghost skin on it or ghosted or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but as you can see, you can just barely see it. On this side, it looks totally uh, just black. You know, there's no no skin at all, but you can see just there in the sunlight that uh, it is definitely a marked vehicle. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Uh, this will probably be the one of the last episodes of LSPDFR.3 because I have been working on LSPDFR.4 and getting it uh, adjusted to my liking and uh, hopefully I will have that ready to uh, to start releasing videos on that soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's episode and let's begin this patrol right now. Attention all units, gunshots reported. In Davis, multiple officers down, gunfire reported. All right, dispatch, go ahead and show us responding to that area. Where do we have... Where is this person shoot? Oh, I see him. Okay. Get down. Not in front of the car like that. Come on, brother. Why do I have so many weapons here? Get down. Get down, bud. You're going to die. You know what? You're just going to die. Because you suck at what you're doing. Dispatch, we're going to have shots fired. I Dispatch was telling me... I'm trying to shoot and talk. Uh, dispatch was telling me that there was officers down. I currently don't see... Oh, shoot. We have got major, major people here. Shoot, I need my panic button. I've got way too many there. All right, Dispatch, I'm going to need some backup. I have got major gunfire over here. Uh, let's get a SWAT team. How about that? All right, if you're on your radio, I can't shoot, bud. I don't, I don't want to shoot in front of them. They are like way far off. Too. Whoa! Why do you have to take out my car? Come on! Don't shoot behind me, please. Are they going to get him or what? Realistically, I don't think I would do much damage with a pistol that far away. Alright, looks like we're going to... And our guy disappeared. What the heck? Well, that blows. Okay, well, dispatch, can you go ahead and roll us a uh, paramedic then? Uh, let's get a 1052 down here. And, uh, yeah, I mean... That sucks. First call of the day. My car's all shot up. I got an officer that uh, decided to go. Oh, why do you have to walk into a train? Why are you that officer? I mean, you're honestly that officer, huh? All right, fix me up, man. And yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of some of these. Well, I mean, there's no reason I have a machine gun. But. Well, let's see. What else do I have here? A pump shotgun, a carbine, and a pistol, and a stun gun. Okay. So maybe in the loadouts menu that I have, maybe they added a carbine that, uh, that spawns with you. I guess I just never noticed it, but. We've got plenty of officers on scene. Um, we can definitely dismiss all of them. We don't need that many people on scene. We've got an officer down there. We have got... I've got multiple GSWs. Multiple people down. Is there another? Ooh, there's another medic on scene, so that's pretty cool. Uh, CPR has failed. Okay, let's go ahead and get a coroner rolling out here. I can move um, because there's nobody in the street that is down. So, am I? Oh no, that guy's rolling on rims. I was gonna say, am I rolling on rims too? I mean, man. 
All right, are the SWAT guys not coming back for their... Ooh, look at that, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> but I mean, look at this. I mean, the lights are like just enough. It's not too much, but it sure does look good. now. Um, front-facing lights, I really don't uh, care if there's too many because obviously when you're behind somebody, it's going to be a little different than uh, when somebody's approaching from the rear. So here I wish that they had like another set, probably like up here in the... And this car is actually small. Look at that. An Explorer, you don't... See, there's no way this guy would be tall enough to see an over an Explorer. But... Um, yeah, I wish there was some rear lights there right above, uh, or right below the third brake light. But it looks like we're going to have this uh, pretty cleared up down here. Corners are rolling off scene, even though there's still some people down there. But anyways, uh, and yeah, we were unable to even try to save that other guy. But anyways, uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and show that scene code for uh, corners have come out. And you can go ahead and show me 10-6 returning to the station. Uh, to get a new patrol vehicle. So yeah, we'll be back in just a moment. Dispatch to all South Los Santos units. We've got a 187 in Davis. All right, dispatch, go ahead and show me responding to that call. 1097, code two. So we have a murder investigation or a homicide investigation. I'm not really sure what that officer is doing, but... One, Lincoln, 18. Officers on scene. Respond code 3. Uh, well, if there's other officers on scene, I really don't need to be responding code 3. Dispatch, you can go ahead and show me uh, 1023 on scene. Okay. Oh, I'm still all bloody. You know what? I never changed my clothes. So... Uh, let's go ahead and go into options and clean players clothes. There we go. Now I look a little more professional as I'm talking to the other officers. Um, can I talk to him first? Finally, some backup. Cause of death appears to be a stab wound to the chest. The dang coroner is stuck in traffic as usual. Question the witnesses. I'll keep the scene secure. All right. Let's, how many witnesses do we have here, bro? Uh, hello, ma'am. Oh, Matthew. Okay. Uh, I saw some Vagos. Let me get that again. I saw some Vagos creeping around earlier. It was probably one of them. Okay. Uh, if you could go ahead and leave the area, I am good with you. Was that the... That was the gosh darn officer, wasn't it? It was. Well, isn't that just great? Uh, Jennifer, I ain't telling you crap, pig. All right, well, screw you then. Why don't you just leave? Because you're absolutely no help to me. Absolutely no help. Get out of here, lady. I then leave. Ma'am, leave. leave all right let's try this lady i guess it was that other cop he's dirty all right so then you can leave too because you're not being any help you know i'm not going to deal with people that don't want to help me can you describe what you saw i saw some vagos creeping around earlier it's probably one of them so it probably was to be honest Lady, I've already asked you questions. Describe what you saw. I ain't telling you. Okay, exactly. So get the heck out of here. I was on corner. Why does this have to happen? All right, so let's get a corner down here. Uh, obviously, none of these people were any help to me. Um, yeah, so we'll just have to wait for the corner. None of them had vital information. Of course, somebody's going to say that there is a dirty cop uh, because that's what they do. So, 
There's always got to be one of them people. Where the heck is my... Oh, there they are. Yeah, and something I noticed about this uh, Explorer is that it... I believe that because it's an add-on pack that they, uh, the author put in some, like, engine sounds for it. Uh, but, I mean, I drive a vehicle with an EcoBoost engine like this uh, Explorer has in it. And I gotta say, it does not sound anything like the uh, sound that this car makes. But, hey, you know what? I guess it doesn't really matter. Dispatch, you can go ahead and show this call. Code for uh, the coroner has arrived. All the witnesses have been talked to. And we will be back. 10-8, returning to patrol. Calling unit one, Lincoln, eighteen. We have a one forty-eight in uh, uh pursuit Strawberry. of a tractor. We'll keep our eyes filled, Jeez, what are these country boys doing, huh? Uh, are we already bailing on foot? There we go. And any trips? Let's get a take. Sir, stop running right now. Stop running. Get face down on the ground right now. Right now. Bro, you didn't even help me get a pursuit in. I mean, come on, man. Hot pursuit of a tractor and you 1050 before I could even arrive on scene. Jeez. Attention, this is dispatch. No further units required. All right, sir. Do you have, let's see. Uh, here we go. Uh, where are you headed to? Just going to the grocery store in a tractor. Maybe out in the county, but not here, buddy. Where did you come from? From the gro... Are you serious? From the grocery store? You just told me you're going to the grocery store. What are you doing? It's none of your business. You Well, let's see. Have you been drinking today? All right. So that may or may not be true. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and grab him, I guess. Alright, sir, do you have anything on you that could poke me or hurt me? Stick me? Anything at all that I need to be concerned about? A train ticket to Polito. Alright, well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and put you into the back seat of my vehicle. Uh, you are going to be placed under arrest at this time for uh, being involved in a vehicle pursuit. So that's great. Uh, can I just go ahead... <clears throat> Can I go ahead and get your name? Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move my car out of the road now. Looks like his tractor was already uh, 1051 by the uh, other officer that was on scene. Where can I go? I guess I can pull up here. And, uh... The struggle continues. Park right... Actually, I already got his name. So now we just need to... Come on, shut the door. Now we just need to get into our MDT. Mac Anderson, controlled substance, all right. Let's go ahead and throw up an arrest report for this guy. Uh, he's gonna be involved with reckless driving and evading arrest. He was also resisting arrest, so non-violent. He's gonna be resisting. All right, that's good there. Uh, dispatch, you can go ahead and uh, show us 1015 to the Davis Station. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, bust through this light. Code 2 is definitely not normal to take a suspect back. But hey, you know what? They're all green, so I guess I don't need to go Code 2. Um, but... Yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to go through Red Light Simulator here in LSPDFR. I'm just going to go ahead and take them in. Park right there. This time we're going to let another officer take them in for us. But I figured since we were right down the road here that it would not hurt to just uh, stop by the station. I think it's hilarious how those windows are blocked off when it's inside of a gated a gated fence and stuff. I mean, that's just hilarious. Like, 
Yeah, you're trying to keep people out, and yet you're inside of a fence, so people shouldn't be able to get in here anyways. But, uh, yeah. I guess dispatch, you can go ahead and show that call code for. And we will be back, 10-8, returning to patrol. All units, a kidnapping in Strawberry. Gunshots reported. All right, dispatch, uh, go ahead and show us responding to that area. 1097, okay, it looks like they're going to be on the move. Uh, thankfully, we have a uh, 911 caller that is following the suspect. So we're just going to try and... Are they on the... Oh, no, that's not good at all. All right, we need to get moving here. All right, are they going to stay on the expressway or what? Are we going to... All right. But yeah, like this definitely does not sound like an eco EcoBoost. Um, I guess it could be. Um, I don't know, but that just... To me, it definitely does not sound like it. All right, we are definitely not supposed to be just blowing through lights like this. We really should be slowing down, but... You know, kidnapping in progress, that's pretty bad. And they gotta be blowing through the lights, because I am not, like, catching up to them at all. Come on, truck driver. All right, now you made me go opposite lanes. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Man, look at that. We went all the way from Strawberry. And it must be some crazy guy that kidnapped this person, because, I mean... To go like this far away or all over the state or the city. Oh, don't do it. Holy smokes. That is some TEU training there. Man, this guy is hauling though. I mean, absolutely hauling. That's why, I mean, if I was to slow down, this guy would, he would be gone. It's like we're in a pursuit, but not actually in a pursuit. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. All right, let's go ahead and downgrade. We're going to just try to catch up to him, because... Oh, gosh, and they're all doing U-turns. My goodness, why does the AI get so trashed like this? All right, it looks like we're going to insta-pursue them. Why are my keys not working? Oh, that's great. Uh, come on, we need some sirens here. I don't know. Some There we go. Okay. All right, dispatch, we are going to be in an active 1080 interstate, too. I have no idea what was going on there, none. But uh, if you could go ahead and roll me two additionals, that would be excellent. You have no idea. I would not turn on my sirens. It's the weirdest thing ever. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to be interstate 2, headed eastbound. But... Uh, Got people U-turning. Where is my backup units? Assistance needed on um, Del Perro Freeway. I'm not really sure. I can't really tell if there's somebody else in that vehicle. We copy you. On standby. Cannot tell at all. I forgot. I cannot do that. Come on, we better start driving. And we just had a major 1050. Major 1050. Sir, get out of the car right now. Get out of the car. Get face down on the ground right now. Right now. Get face down on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Turn my sirens off. Let's get this road blocked. Even though this is so not legit. Like, you would never just let the suspect uh, sit there. 
But, uh, Police! how are we doing? What? Why am I arresting her? Get out of here. All right, ma'am, you are good. There we go. I want to cuff this guy. That's what I want to do. All righty. Let's go ahead and grab him. What is going on here? I have got way too many things going on, so I'm guessing I'm giving her a ticket or something. That's ridiculous, because she would not get a ticket, but... I guess in GTA's day, we are going to possibly give her a ticket. So, this is great. Let's, uh... Come on, you've got to be kidding me. I can't jump with a pad. Alright, I, I mean... Isn't this just wonderful? Don't you just love it? Alright, let's shut that door. What is she doing in the car? Holy crap. I don't know. I've said it once, I've said it a million times that just Alpha Ida are just the silliest things that we've got. Alright, and it canceled his search, so that's great. Alright, sir, do you have anything on you that could poke us or hurt us in any way, shape, or form before I put you into the back of my patrol vehicle? Alright, some chewing gum tobacco, a receipt to ammunition, a Glock, G17, and a context, contact lens case. I've got a shotgun in my hand, don't know what I need that for. Now I have a carbine. They can all get dismissed. She stole the vehicle, so that's great. It's a typical Los Santos traffic down here. We're just going to go ahead and uh, park up on the side of the road so we can continue to question this guy. This is why I put them on the passenger side of the vehicle. That way I can talk to him. All right, sir, uh, what is your name? I hope that guy gets out of here so I don't have to listen to that siren. Josh Coran, 215-1987. He's coming back with a suspended license, uh, but he has no active warrants. We are at this time going to be moving because obviously they have no reason to turn their sirens off. So, and this is great because there's just nowhere to park anywhere around here. Let's see, can we park up right here? Yep. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Josh Coran suspended and no wanted status. He's never been stopped or anything. Uh, so nonviolent crimes we're gonna have uh, actually. We're gonna have uh, definitely violent crime. Kidnapping, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to say it's kidnapping. I don't know if it's aggravated or not. Uh, we're going to say reckless driving, leaving the scene of an accident, evading arrest, driving while license was suspended. All righty. So, yeah, he's got some charges booked up against him. Dispatch, if you could go ahead and roll me a 1032 for a uh, transport. In uh, La Mesa. Hopefully they're not on the upper on the level. Roger. Hello. Wow, they actually spawned on the right part. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. He has been picked up. And uh, we're going to be back. Ooh. Looks like them cars kind of got hit. Uh, dispatching, go ahead and show that call code 4. One suspect is being transported down to the station. I was about to say we're going to be back on patrol, but that is going to be the last call of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of LSPDFR, and I will see you guys next episode.